I tinted my brows and my lashes the other day, but I think I've done my brows a bit too dark. And these curls, believe it or not, are completely brought to you by my dressing gown rope. At the moment, this is a bit too curly for me, and I'm hoping they'll drop out throughout the day. But anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing some more viral products. Let's just get into it. I'm just going to start with a bit of primer because I don't have a new one to test. This is one of my faves from NYX. But I think the thing that I'm most excited to try is the Fenty Colour Changing Lip and Cheek Stick. This foundation has been out for a couple of months now, I think. I think it launched in April in the UK and it's the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I've seen a few people applying this to their skin and it literally disappears into their skin and looks flawless. I have got the shade 2N1 Cashew which I'm hoping is going to be the right match for me. I think it should be. This is the shade that I wear in their tinted moisturiser. I've got to say I do actually like Laura Mercier face products. They're usually very nice. Packaging looks very nice. It's a frosted glass bottle. Very classy. I'm gonna shake it a lot because it's quite runny. Two pumps? Yes, I think this is gonna be a good shade match. Ooh. It fit, I don't know how to explain this, but putting it on, it feels like I'm putting on an oil, like a face oil. I'm gonna go sponge. Or maybe I should, actually let's do sponge on this side and brush on the other side. Oh my God, it literally just does look like my skin. Maybe because there's not much coverage going on. Let's try a brush on the other side. I think it is oxidizing a little bit, which is actually fine because without it doing that, I think it would have been maybe a tiny bit too light for when I'm tan. I think I have got a little bit more coverage with the brush, so let's stick with the brush. I can't actually compare this to another foundation that I have. It feels completely different. It just feels very, very light and quite oily, but at the same time, it doesn't look like super oily on my skin. So one layer on my skin. It looks very natural, but I do actually like it. I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna see if it's buildable by adding a bit on some of my scars. Usually with this kind of foundation though, I would just go in with a concealer to add extra coverage, but because often lighter coverage foundations don't tend to stay in place as much as a thicker one, so you're probably better off just adding concealer. That has definitely added some extra coverage though. The only thing that I'm noticing is that it feels oily, but it doesn't necessarily feel hydrating. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like there's moisture that's like sinking into my skin. Like for example, the House Labs one, it doesn't have that sort of sticky feeling at all. It almost feels like it's sitting on top of my skin, but it does look gorgeous. I think it looks really nice. I'm just going to go over everything with my sponge. I'm just adding a little bit of Too Faced concealer in the shade Swan and then Almond on my blemishes. But has anybody else tried this foundation? Let me know what you think of it. I will do a little wear test at the end of the day to see how all this makeup holds up because I am about to go out to a four-year-old's birthday party and apparently there's going to be a bouncy castle. So will I be on that bouncy castle? Absolutely. And we'll see if this makeup is bouncy castle proof. Skin is looking good. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to do a bit of cream bronzer and then I'll come back for the Fenty blush. This is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bell cream blush. Cream blush? Cream bronzer? You knew what I meant. So this is the Fenty product in question. This is part of their summer collection. It is the Matchsticks Color Adapting Cheek and Lipstick in Strawberry Pop. I think the packaging of this is absolutely gorgeous. And their whole summer collection is this kind of theme with the pink and orange ombre. But this is so not what I was expecting when I saw pictures of this collection online. Can you see how this is see-through? It's like a jelly, jelly stick. Doesn't have a smell thought maybe it would smell of strawberries. It's this transparent pink colour, but then when it touches your skin, it's one of those colour changing ones that will slowly turn into a bright pink shade. Well, from what I've seen, this seems to be a slightly different colour on every skin tone, as it would be because it's a sheer pink. That is not really giving a whole lot. Let me try and... Is mine broken? Let's try it on my lips first. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's definitely turned pink. Maybe it reacts differently on your face to it does on my hand. I guess on my lips, there's more for it to absorb into, but that has definitely got a nice shade of pink. It feels like a balm, but interestingly enough, it doesn't feel like a sticky balm. Like it just, I don't know, it feels like quite thin. I don't really know how to describe it. Like it doesn't feel like Vaseline. Should we just try putting this on my cheek? Oh my God, I feel like that's getting darker. Is that just me? Let's just go in. Okay, that is showing up. That is showing up for sure. Let's put on a little bit more. And then I'm gonna blend this with my brush, I think to sort of melt it into the rest of my makeup. It's quite a subtle pink. I'm just gonna wipe this off my lips because I don't really want pink stained lips today. On this side, I'm actually gonna try putting it on my hand first. Actually, wait, let's just paint it onto the brush. Let's take the brush like this and try stippling it onto my face that way. I'm actually very surprised that it's not just completely broken down my foundation. Oh, that works a lot better. Okay, if you're gonna be putting this on your cheeks and you want more color payoff, put it directly onto your brush because holy shit, look at that. 
If I'm being honest, I really didn't think I was gonna like this because a lot of the time these sort of color changing pH things are not really my favorite shade of pink. They're usually too dark. And okay, this looks a little bit insane right now, but if I actually just blend this out. Yeah, how is this not separating my foundation when it's a balmy sort of texture? That goes against the laws of science, but I'm not complaining. It's a nice cool toned pink. I didn't expect to like that, but I actually quite do. Quite do? I actually quite like it. And I'm quite shocked because a lot of cheek and lip products can be too slippery and oily and they just make your makeup look really weird. But no, it's sitting pretty nicely. I do like it. Would it overtake my other cream blushes? Probably not. But if you're into your pinks and you're looking for something versatile that you can use on your cheeks and your lips and you like the packaging, then I approve. I do have a feeling though that if you used a thicker and more full coverage foundation, it might separate your makeup a bit more. But because this was quite a light coverage sort of glowy base anyway, it blended a lot better. I'm just powdering my face with some of the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder in shade 10 powder is done, let me just do my eyebrows. Oh my god guys, for my powder bronzer I'm using one of the Kiko Little Mermaid ones. I did an ad on my Instagram with this collection and I was like smiling all the way through that ad just because I love Kiko for a start but this collection, like the packaging, is just so pretty and they have the baked bronzers in it. This one's actually a little bit more shimmery. I have the shade 02 Sand Shadows and I have a feeling that by the time I post this video a lot of this collection will probably be sold out. Can I use this to contour my nose? Kinda. That did seem to work. These ones aren't part of the viral stuff, but they should be viral because they're so cute. This is the blush in the shade three. I'm blushing. Just gonna add a little bit because I really don't think I need much more blush because I'm still looking pretty pink. This is actually quite a similar color. It's like a blushed pink shade, like the Fenty one. Oh my God, yeah, I'm so blushy today. And then I think my favorite from the collection is the highlighter. Look at this. And it's got that shell sort of pattern on it. But oh my God, this highlighter is so beautiful. This is the collection Diamond Shine Highlighter, technically in the shade Shine Bright One. This is what the packaging looks like. And then on the inside, it looks like the Fenty Diamond Bomb Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector kind of thing. I probably would do a side-by-side -side comparison in a dupes video, but for now, I'm gonna put this on my eyes because that is my favorite way to use this kind of product. And I saw, what is her name? Oh, Olivia, Olivia. Ansel. I will put her TikTok on the screen. And she said, not sure if this is a new release, but it's only just appeared in my local Superdrug. It's 5 dollars So I ran to Superdrug and when I got this. Putting a bit of bronzer through my crease. Then I'm taking this on my finger and putting it on my eyelids. Ooh. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I think because I obviously powdered my eyelids, I have a feeling this will go on better if I put my setting spray on and then put it on. Oh my God, I had an absolute disaster with this setting spray. The other day I opened it and the whole lid came off and it poured all over me, like all the oily stuff. So be careful if you have this milk setting spray. I don't want to get it in my hair. While my eyelids are still damp, let's go in. Oh yes, much, much better. Then it just has something for it to stick to. That is super pretty. It's definitely giving a similar vibe as the Makeup by Mario Master Reflector and the Fenty Diamond Bomb kind of thing. It's not quite as sparkly and it's a little bit more chunky, but overall for $5.99, that's gorgeous. I wouldn't use it as a highlighter though, just because it is pretty much like straight up glitter. I would definitely keep using that on my eyes. This next thing is actually what started this whole idea for this video. I had seen so many ads for this mascara. It's the Max Factor Masterpiece 2-in-1 Lash Wow Volume and Length Mascara. But this is the kind of mascara that has actually been around for quite a long time. But this one in particular is new from Max Factor and what you do is okay the brush looks like this regularly but then you twist this bit at the bottom wait why can't I do it there we go and do you see the brush goes down and then is a more like twisted so you literally just twist this bit like that and it changes the shape of the brush by Terry did one of these. Floor Mar, which was the brand that was in Primark for a while, did one of these. And I actually really liked those mascaras, but I always seemed to prefer them when they were on length mode rather than volume mode. I did actually film my first impressions of this over on my TikTok. But if I just show you on the lengthening mode, the bristles are plastic. Oh no, I've just got that on my lid. And what I was about to say is the only downside to this is that the bristles are quite long, so it can get a little bit messy. I wish they were a bit shorter so that they gripped my lashes a little bit better. But on length mode, works pretty damn well. On the other eye, let me just twist it and do the short, thicker one. So this brush is supposed to be volumizing. To be honest, they're kind of similar to me, but this one just goes a little bit more clumpy. Yeah, like, do you, can you see what I mean? I just think the lengthening brush works a lot better. Because that one just seems to be putting too much product onto my lashes. So I'm going to switch back to the length mode and finish my lashes with this. Okay, yeah, I really wish I just stuck to the this brush on that side. Can you see the difference? This side is looking pretty nice, and then this side is just looking a bit 
messed up. Oh my god, I can't get rid of these clubs. I think as well, I'll probably like it a little bit more once it's dried out a bit, because it's quite wet at the moment, which means that it's a little bit more difficult to work with. But for the most part, I do think it's a nice mascara. I just way prefer this lengthening brush instead of the volumizing one. Why is this eye now not working? And on my lower lashes, it's done a pretty good job too. These are how my lashes are looking. For my lips, I have got these. I have mentioned the pink one in, I think it was in a recent favourites video actually, because I've really been enjoying this, but MAC have released these Squirt Plumping Gloss Sticks, very weird name. This one is in the shade 13 Amped. I'm not going to show that one today, just because I've shown it already. I've seen people swatching all of these on TikTok, and they do a whole bunch of funky colours in here. I think the only one that I don't have is the greeny yellow sort of one. Or maybe there's a green and a yellow. Let's show you the black black one first because when I first opened this I was like why would you ever want a black lip balm like surely on any skin tone that is just gonna make you look just not flattering the only thing is with these you twist them up you can't twist them back down which is slightly frustrating but let's put on this black one so as you can see it's very sheer and it does look kind of weird, but I think with a particular lip liner, this could actually work. And like I've mentioned before, these feel gorgeous on the lips. They have a very slight tingle, but it's not like an intense burning. It's more of like a minty tingle and they feel so hydrating. So this is the black shade. I mean, um, I do think it makes me look a bit ill, but maybe if you're wearing a slightly cooler toned lipstick or a darker lipstick, or maybe a lipstick that you wanted to change the tone of to make it more cool toned, then you could put this over the top of it and it might work. Next up, let's do the blue one. This one is called 18 Nova. The black one is called 14 Jet. Oh, I've got cotton all stuck to my mouth. This would have been the perfect thing for that trend of the cold girl makeup look. I don't know whether it's just because I've put on a thicker layer of it here, but again, it does make me look a little bit ill. <laughs> but let's just try it with a lip liner. This one is by L'Oreal. It is the shade Crystal Cappuccino. I mean, yeah, I think as long as you have something that gives a little bit of colour to your lips, like a lip liner or a different lipstick, then you can pretty much use any of these shades because that now just looks like a glossy balm. They feel so nice. So that was the blue. And again, maybe if you had a red toned lipstick that you wanted to be a more cool toned red, then you could put that over the top of it. And next up, let's do the purple, which is 17 Violet Beta, which looks like this. They smell amazing, by the way. They have the classic MAC scent. Okay, purple. Mmm, that one's kind of similar to the blue. But again, with a lip liner, could definitely work. My lips are going to be the most hydrated. Oh my god, look at the top of this. How is the top of this just like slid off? Can you see what I'm on about? <laughs> that is so bizarre. A layer of this has just come off of it. How weird. My lips are going to be the most hydrated they've ever been. And then finally, we have the orange, which is called Eleven Hazard. This one, I'm thinking maybe could work with like a corally lipstick or lip liner underneath. So let's give it a try by itself. That one is actually really nice by itself. It's just given a tiny more hint of warmth to my natural lip colour. Yeah, that's cute. I like that shade. I would probably wear that and the pink one, which I've tested previously. Yeah, I like it. Have my lights been flashing the whole way through this video? Oh my god. I am so sorry if they have. I've only just noticed that. And then the final thing that I'm going to test. These I have tested before. However, these are new shades. Maybelline have launched new shades of their vinyl lip ink things. They now seem to have a lot more nude shades for multiple different skin tones, which is great because before their nude selection was pretty limited. Captivated. Let's just give them a swatch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, they smell so good. I do not remember that. Oh my god, that is such a nice colour. That one is captivated. And then this one is golden. Oh, they are both nice. So that is those two there. I'm going to do captivated first, which is number 95. Uh, actually, is that a bit too light? Oh my god, that is such a nice nude shade. However, I'm not sure this is the most flattering on me. That is a gorgeous colour, but I think it's a little bit too light. I may need a lip liner with that. So, let's quickly, quick, before it dries, I'm going to take the shade 105 Golden instead, because I think that matches my general makeup and top and everything better. And these are supposed to dry down and stay glossy. Oh shit, I think you're supposed to shake them first. Oh no, yeah, you are. You're supposed to shake them. I forgot to shake it. There you go. No, we just wait for this to dry. It's a little bit brighter than what I would normally go for, but I will wear it. No, nope, not dry yet. I've seen people on TikTok doing this. Oh, I don't think it's dry yet. The edges are still wet. Is it still not dry? Yeah, look, it's still not dry. The inner bits are still not dry. How long are you supposed to wait for? Okay, let's try this again. I mean, yeah, let's dry now. Some of the shininess does come off. There's still a little bit there. And it does feel a little bit sticky, but... 
We have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit from I think around the edges, but I don't think that's going anywhere. There we go. So that has been me testing some viral makeup products. If you enjoyed this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to test, as always. And if you've tried any of these things yourself, let me know what you think of them. If you watch my videos quite often and you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is free. And I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I will see you in my next video.